Now developing a use case. Now we want to make a use case. We want to understand the requirement, receive the requirement, and operate the requirement. For that, normally UML, this is the de facto standard of the industry, unified modeling language. So whenever we'll be making a use case, there will be two different things you have to understand. In use case, you will make an actor and there will be an end user and they are not necessarily the similar entity. So end user will be using it finally, like one person can act as four rules. For example, a user may play different roles, but whenever we are talking about use case, then the actor you are going to define, actor you are going to take, two things you have to keep in mind. First, the actor has to be external to the system. And the second thing is only one role an actor will play. Only one role. Let us take an example. There is a machine operator, which will be the end user. And who is interacting with the, say, control computer for manufacturing cell that a number of robots and numerically controlled machine. To be easy with this uh, example, a machine operator will interact with a software. The software will do certain things. So when we carefully review the requirement, what do we see that the software, there should be different modes, you know, roles of our interaction. That is, we need four different actors, one role, one actor. Okay. Just example that four roles are, we are just making it up. So programming mode is there, uh, test mode is there, monitoring mode is there, troubleshooting mode is there. You can even think that there will be four logins for different people. You can say that. So we have to define four actors, four actors, because four roles are there. Actor number one is the programmer. Actor number two is the tester. Actor number three is the monitor. And th the fourth one is the troubleshooter. Okay. Now the machine operator, because he will be a human being, he can play all the roles, but we need four roles. So four actors will be there. But one need, one need to understand that when we know the requirement, when we try to illustrate elicitate the requirement. This is an evolutionary activity. So you might get say some actors in the first iteration, say in the second iteration, you will get secondary actor. Now the actor are primary and secondary. So the second question comes is what is the difference between a primary actor and a secondary actor? How will you define it? So the primary actor and secondary act actor are the actors you need to put in use cases. And the primary actor is the one who is going to interact directly with the system frequently again and again. The secondary actor will be helping the primary actor to get his activity or her activity or a system activity done. An actor can be a human being, an actor can be a system. Okay. So when you are doing say some shopping, Credit card processing system will be the secondary actor because it is acting, it is helping the customer, which is the primary actor. Okay, you got the idea. Let me tell you again. Primary actor is interacting the software or a, or a system to do certain function. It will directly work, frequently work with the software. And the secondary actors, it is going to act as a support for the primary actor. Okay, once actor has been identified, then the use cases can be developed. So first thing is to act. To know the actors. Now, in order to make a use case, there are certain questions that you need to answer. So he gave certain questions. If you are able to answer that, then only you will be able to make a good use case. First is, have you identified primary actor and secondary actor? Who is directly interacting? Who is uh, not directly interacting? What are the goals, objectives of each actor? And when the use case story, because every use case is a story. You can also call it as a usage scenario. So what are the preconditions that should exist? Then the main tasks or the functions, the activities, which an actor is performing. And in this usage scenario, what are the exceptions? What are the constraints? What are the things he has to know? What are the variations? Because actor can act in a different way. And because of some event or a trigger, he can act in a certain different way. Okay. So there has to be all variation catered. Have you taken care of that? When an actor is interacting with the software, what are the information it is going to acquire, produce, chain? That is the information inflow, outflow, how it is going to take place. And if some something in the external environment, it changes, will the actor will be informed or not informed? 
how he is going to know and what information does he actually require from the system does the actor wish to be informed about certain unexpected changes so whenever we are talking about an actor in a use case there are certain questions which yakubson has said you need to know and answer now we are developing a proper use case the use case uh, for this we will take an example of home security system which is normally found in all the houses uh, nowadays so this is a safe home and we are trying to get the requirements so we are eliciting the requirement of a safe requirement because something can happen you know we will define four actors here the person who is going to interact homeowner four actors okay setup manager he may be a homeowner owner normally but he may be playing a different role that is homeowner and setup manager the roles are different the person can be same when he is using the sensors there will be different sensors one sensor will be say for illegal entry uh, that is the motion sensor second is for monoxide third is for fire fourth is for say any other you know situation you want then there will be a central station that monitors this uh, safe home product you can say home security function so there will be a monitoring and response sub system so we are having four factor uh, actors so let us take one of the actor and then try to define uh, because all making will take some time so we will be considering the home owner actor so how this home owner how is going to interact with this this particular system or a software which is there in the system so is going to interact there is only one way he can interact that is uh, through the control panel like the mobile we have the screen so we have a screen here and some keyboard so he will enter a password that is how he will start the interaction this is how normally things are done in your in your mobile also in your computer also he will inquire about the status and status of the sensor because sensor will give you all the information and he will, it will save you and the panic button if uh, at all it is there for emergency and arm or disarm the system or activate or deactivate the security system now the basic uh, use case for this system activation now what is the use case for system because he, when he is going to come he will activate the system so what is the basic use case before that first of all the home user will come to this particular screen he will observe the safe home here where he will come he will see what is whether it is ready or not if it is not ready that is very clear that some of the doors or the windows are open that is not ready means the system is not able to work you have to first close the uh, windows and all these so that the center can the sensor can sense and start working okay so the home owner is going to when he physically closes the doors etc he can uh, key in the password it can be four digit so when the password is there there has to be a valid password in the system if then only it can check if it is correct there can be some uh, beep say control beep and it will reset itself if the password is correct it will wait for further action because home owner home owner is there he is going to enter something so now he is ready to give stay or away when he is staying that is he don't need the motion sensors when he is away he will he wants all the sensors so when he is staying inside the house only the perimeter sensors that is say carbon monoxide or say water flood or uh, fire sensors this will be activated because in a, in the house he will be moving his, uh, his kids and all family members will be moving so this will not be required away activates all the sensors because once you are away then you will need the system to be activated and when the activation occurs the control panel should give you certain light for example a red alarm light so this is the basic use case for a, a system activation when a control panel uh, is used to interact with the system now this is the content what we saw but we would like to show how the actor is going to interact with the system and we'll try to uh, alleviate that is high level story interaction between the actor and the system so for that cogburn said he suggested a template because everyone will be making use case how to make this there has to be a template so cogburn gave us a very good template you can follow it you can not follow it but you need to know what template is there the first is use case so you can name the use case that is say initiate monitoring who is the actor primary actor of course it will be the home owner what is the goal in context that is he he wants to set the system to monitor sensors when the the user is inside or outside what are the preconditions required 
that the password has to be there because he will enter the password and all the sensors should be recognizable. Different sensors will be connected from here. Okay. That is how the safe uh, home will work. So use case primary actor, goal in context, preconditions and the trigger. Now the trigger is when he set the system, the alarm functions will be activated and we, when he reset the system, it should, it should go. So the scenario will be, this is the scenario, this is the usage scenario. First homeowner, he'll observe the control panel, he'll enter the password, he'll put stay or away, that is he inside, is he staying inside or going outside and there will be a red light. So this is uh, uh, the template part and the next part in the template is exception. If control panel is not ready, the user or the homeowner has to go outside, close the door, close the window. Then password is incorrect. He has to, you know, re-enter the password. If password is not recognized, then he has to contact certain, you know, backend. So there has to be the exceptions. This any service provider. When stay he is selecting, it should, the control panel should beep, beep twice. A stay light should be there. All the perimeter sensors are activated. When he is staying, motion sensors are not activated. When he is selecting away, then the control panel should be three times. All sensors are activated. What is the priority for the software? This particular use case is very essential. It must be implemented. When available, it has to be given in the first increment. What is the frequency of use of this use case? Many times per day because the user will be using again and again. And what is the channel to actor? He is going to interact the MMI man machine interface or human machine interface. It should be via the control panel's interface. So the next part in your template is uh, secondary actors. It can be support technicians. Sensor is also a secondary actor. Now, what are the channels to secondary actors? If you don't know, you can just leave it. What are the support technicians? How are you are going to support the, uh, through phone lines? Means how you are going to get the support. Then the sensors, hardwired and radio frequency interfaces. Hardwired, there will be certain thing hardwired. Yes. Using RF, uh, certain interfaces will be there. And apart from that, you have also to write open issues. That is. What are the things need to be catered? Should there be activate? Password can be given in say one short word and should the control panel display some other message? If user start say the password is uh, 5439. Now when he enters 5, how much time it needs to put 3 till 9, 5439. And is there a way to deactivate the system before it actually activates? That is 30 second, 1 minute time so that he just activate and goes out of the house in 1 minute or 2 minute like this. 